going to stuff the cavity of my turkey with an onion, three parsnips, four sticks of celery, and a Granny Smith apple. That should uh, give it a nice internal I'm going to put the turkey in this pan inside an oven roasting bag. And this is a picture of the bird before we've taken it out of the wrapper. This is David and Paula's Thanksgiving thing we're making for ourselves. We're cooking a turkey outside on a wood smoke fire and Paula is making some pies. Paula, tell me about your pies. These are pumpkin pies made from scratch. Uh, we bake the pumpkins and then we use the, the puree pulp to make the pies. It's my Aunt Julia May's recipe and it's very delicious. How long do you cook them and what temperature? 400 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, so then we'll put them in the old-fashioned pie safe after they're done to let them cool. Paula's uh, homemade pumpkin pies turned out excellent. She made a little sample tray and we ate one of those and I'll testify it was really good. Aunt Julie May, your recipe is This is the grill I'll be using. I'm going to do most of my uh, uh, fire back here in the firebox. But I will put uh, some stuff inside. We'll put some uh, wood uh, coals down inside here to help with our cooking of a turkey for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. This is a picture of my wood my split oak and cherry wood. I'm going to attempt to smoke a turkey on the grill today for Thanksgiving. Well I've already used one back box of diamond uh, matches. Uh, says they'll strike anywhere but uh, I'm going to tell you right now, these are the worst matches that I've ever seen. There's not enough of this uh, white and red stuff on them to make them burn effectively. See, they don't even stay burning. won't stay burning. When I was a child growing up, matches had uh, plenty of that red stuff on them where they'd burn. Maybe if I burn the whole pack, that'll get it going. I'm very disgusted with diamond matches. Resort, I'm gonna use this Winn-Dixie brand odorless charcoal lighter. So, put some of that on there. And I'll try this again with these here diamond matches, see if they'll get it going. Well, that worked. But I was trying to get my fire without using that uh, charcoal lighter, but this says it's odorless. So okay, the second step is I've built some of, of oak coal fire in here inside the barrel. And as you can see, we got some smoke going on now. So we got a good draft, it's coming out the chimney where it's supposed to. And that means my firebox is working like it's supposed to. Got a good draft in there. I'm gonna let it burn for 30 or 40 minutes to get me a good, uh, get everything heated up and uh, then we'll put the bird on there. I wanna make sure that I got my fire right. That's the important thing to smoking a turkey on wood fire. Just make sure you got your fire right and then you're Got a lot of wind today. I uh, think it's getting ready to rain here in uh, Monticello, Florida. We're actually uh, uh, west of Monticello in the Lloyd area of Florida. And uh, we'll welcome the rain. It's been about uh, three or four weeks since we had rain, but we got a nice three inch rain back then. Okay, we put the turkey on there and uh, we're going to shut the lid down. We'll come back. Okay, we're getting this turkey coming along pretty good. Now what we want to do is check that old heat thermometer and see if we got her cooked up there to the 
right temperature. Uh, smoking is taking place and she's starting to look really, really good. I think this is going to work great. So 193 degrees. 193 degrees down there, so we're going to pull her out. I think she's done. I got a smoked turkey for Thanksgiving, November 25th, 2010. Legendary hunt camp. Okay, I'm checking my bird. I uh, just uh, having problems getting it up to 180 degrees, but we're going to check it again and see what it is. It's been cooking a while. Okay, Paula's uh, carving up the turkey we smoked today. It took a lot longer than I thought, about two hours longer than I thought. But I believe it turned out real good, and I'm going to eat it if it kills me. And let's see what else you got here. She made, uh, what's this called, giblet gravy? Dressing. Is this your recipe or Aunt Julie Mays? It's my mother-in-law's. Your mother-in-law? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Lewis. Okay. And we're going to have some bread. And we're going to have some cranberry sauce. This is me and Paula's Thanksgiving, November 25th, 2010.